Principal Data Management Architect here at Pure Storage. And I'm here with my good friend, Mike Fall from Rubrik. Hi, yeah, so I'm Mike Fall. I'm from Rubrik, and I'm a database solutions engineer. Well, so here, I uh, figured we, we would invite Mike over uh, to have a little conversation on how do, how do you implement your SQL servers on your data centers today, right? What does a, a modern SQL server infrastructure look like in today's data centers? Yeah, I mean, so a lot has changed in the past, gosh, 20 years, 25 years that we've been working in the industry. And a lot of the technology we still use is still embedded back in that period of time. So, you know, if we could start again, if we could rebuild everything from the scratch, what would it look like and how would SQL Server fit into that? Well, that's actually what, a great way to start a conversation, right? So. Most of my customers that I work with are still kind of stuck in the past and are uh, dealing with uh, legacy storage architectures. Mm -hmm. And they are, have to deal with all these different things like uh, creating one loan for the data files and one loan for, actually one loan for every data file and one loan for every log, for every transaction log and that kind of thing. Right. Things are so different these days with Flash. And you know, things are so radically different. For example, one of the things that we, uh, that we advocate for is the use of less loans so you can get the exact same kind of performance from a, from a single loan than you would from a ton of different loans. Sure. I've seen SQL servers with 15 different loans uh, for, for, for just to can get performance out, out of it, right? On a pure storage array, these days you just create one loan and start running your workout off of it. This is so radically different in that sense. Yeah, and I mean, we see similarities in the data protection side thing, right? And, and I like to use data protection instead of backups because, well, backups, yeah, backups are great and we need to do them, but data protection encompasses so much more. And, and that's the thing is, is nowadays your backups, backups aren't enough. You need more to support stuff and, you know, you need to be able to leverage those backups. It's funny too, how many people will create the, get that expensive pure storage and they're using it for all their great stuff and they're also storing their backups to it. And that can be pretty pricey. So you want to start thinking of, okay, how do I build my strategy? How do I build my architecture to leverage all the different pieces appropriately and get the best cost benefits out of it all? Right. And so one thing that kind of ties in nicely into the way that we, we work and again, the way that you guys work is our snapshot technology. Uh, the fact that our snapshots are crash consistent on Flash Array uh, makes them extremely useful. And you can take them whenever you want, regardless of the uh, conditions that your uh, array is under, and regardless of how much data you're, going, you're writing to your databases, you can just take a snapshot and start using it right away. That is so different than what it used to be back in the day. Right? Back in the day, you would not leverage any sand snapshots at all. And if you did, you actually had to quiesce all the I.O., make sure that everything will be nice and settled before you could actually take a snapshot and then leverage it for any of your needs. Right? That, is, that is completely different nowadays. One of the things that I show my customers all the time is how you can just go ahead and clone a database that's actively taking incoming transactions, clone it, and start using a copy of it right away. Yeah. So that's so different than what it used to be years ago, where you had to take an entire full size of data backup, transfer it across the network, restore it. That would take, I, I've seen customers where this entire process yeah. of refreshing a dot level environment would take weeks, literally weeks to complete. Yeah, and I see, I think that's a great point. Um, you know, when you're talking about the snapshots, the crash consistent snapshots within the pure array, what you're talking about is, is storage doing more than just storing data, right? Usually, we're traditionally used to having, okay, we've got our one copy of the data, and that's, that's all we got to work with. Whereas with your crash consistent snapshots, you're saying, okay, well, we can have a copy of the main database, and then we can make these clones of it, data virtualization, to leverage. And we, we have similar functionality in Rubrik with our upcoming live mount feature that's coming in our 4.0 release, where we can say, okay, well, we take your backup, but now your backup's not just your backup. We can then mount that backup to another SQL server and virtualize your data to make use of that. So if you needed to do object level recovery from a certain point in time, instead of having to restore the entire database, you just mount the database in a couple minutes uh, with that backup, and then you go ahead and pull your table over. So you know, with the modern architectures, the idea is more about what can we do more than just take a backup or just store a file, right? Yeah, definitely. So one of the things you know, I was thinking about here, as you were saying that, is a possible scenario where you will leverage this will be, imagine you had to fetch you know, how the state of a, of a, table, a given table on a SQL Server database as it was a year ago. 
Right? So you could have that co that copy of the of your database sitting on a rubric device, mm -hmm. and you could live mount that data and fetch that data back into a rubric production database if you sort of needed to see it that way. Or you could just attach that that, that whole instance of SQL Server as a separate instance. All right. right. Yeah. So pretty interesting scenarios. So Mike, how do we integrate together? How how does pure how do pure and rubric work together? Well, so Pure and Rubric working together, I mean, it's, our companies have an established partnership, which is one of the really cool things about We kind of have a similar DNA, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do have that similar DNA. And, and again, kind of how do we reinvent this? And so with Pure, you guys offer a great way to present databases and to offer that high performance, you know, the, the snapshots and the, the flexibility around that. And how Rubric integrates with that is, you know, we hook into you guys and when we... Again, I, I, I had the, the reference earlier, like I got customers that are writing their backups to pure storage, and that's not an effective use of pure, right? You want pure to be running your, those, those production workloads and not just storing a backup file. So we integrate with you guys by saying, here, we've got a whole data protection suite where you can move that off, where we have a version history of those backups. You know, pure has the, the current point in time offering that instant performance. We offer that backup history going back whenever, you know, however long we're retaining that and bringing it all together for that complete infrastructure to say, okay, not only do I have, you know, very performing, high performing databases, not only do I have high performing databases, but we also can get the version protection uh, going back to, through our history to bring these databases up and get everything working to get the whole picture of your data. That's great functionality. So the kind of the magic sauce that makes all of that happen the pure functionality that, that allows your inf incremental forever kind of approach to doing backups is our Snap Differential uh, API, right? We just right. came out with that um, uh, fairly recently, and you guys jumped right on and, inst and started building your integration on top of that. Yeah, we definitely integrate like with the VM stuff, and I'm, I'm glad you brought up APIs, because APIs, I think, are another huge part of the infrastructure. Infrastructures are growing, and the, the scales of these infrastructures are getting huge, you know, very difficult for just a, even a, a small team of professionals to manage. Uh, so automation is the key. And both Rubrik and Pure embrace this automation through APIs. I know with Rubrik, we're very focused on being an API-driven architecture where everything we do can be activated, called, run through a REST API. And with that, you know, we wrap so many scripts around it to enable workflows, you know, for test dev, for deployments, for migrations, all driven from that, and I'm sure you guys have similar works stories the with, uh, with the pure storage. Yeah, it definitely work the exact same way. Uh, the pure storage flash array serves the REST API directly from the same IP address that you had your uh, GUI from. It's the exact same IP address, and every single thing that you can do on the GUI or any of the commands that you can run directly on the array can be performed via the REST API. And the REST API is always on and allows you to perform not only provisioning, but also any other related task that you may want to do, like sizing a volume or re resizing a volume, creating protection groups, setting up replication. Literally every anything that you have to do to work with a pure storage array can be done with, through a REST API. And it's extremely useful. One of the things that I uh, constantly show my customers is how you can leverage these, uh, the, the, the REST API, with our PowerShell SDK, our PowerShell SDK is basically just a set of wrappers for, for our REST API. How they can leverage the PowerShell SDK for making super short scripts that allow them to do myriads of different things. Like for example, uh, backing up their databases or taking just script snapshots of those databases, clone, cloning them, and that sort of thing. And that's a, extremely useful in having a, an API driven design, allows you to just automate absolutely everything, you, anything you want to do. Right, yeah, I, like I said, I think that's key, and particularly in the world. We have a similar REST API. We have a PowerShell module that wraps around that. Uh, you know, we've got guys writing in Ruby and Python, all doing these REST calls, and that's, that's really the key, right? And I think that's, the, again, that shared, um, that shared vision that our companies have is, is that we, ha we live in an automation-driven world. We live in, you know, a DevOps world, to use the catchy phrase there, and it's... By, by living in that world, enabling that world, we enable more professionals, IT professionals using our platforms, you know, to do more, to, to not just run backups and not just, you know, store data. They're actually saying, okay, creating snapshots for test dev and, and getting that version history and migrating data, moving it to the cloud, whatever you need, it's all driven through that REST API. Absolutely. So... Are you, aren't you excited about the future? Oh, I'm, I'm extremely excited about the future. I mean, it just gets better and better. And I think, 
you know, being at companies like Pure and Rubric that have said, hey, you know, how do we embrace the future? How do we start fresh, as it were? How do we build from the ground up and, and embrace this new world of data architecture? You know, that's, that just gets me jazzed every day, man. But I think the hardest part of doing, making that happen is keeping it all simple, which is right. the approach that both of our companies have. Taken, Absolutely. Right? How do you do provisioning? How do you do data protection? How do you do full-on automation the simple and the easy way? Well, and even the back to the back-end implementation of this, I mean, a key mantra at Rubrik is simplicity. And so this, this not only just from, okay, everything we do, the REST APIs, but we use an HTML5 interface for our management uh, tool. So you don't have to install any agents. You don't have to run any additional software. You know, you just open up a web page and you go. Um, you know, we do use some connector services. And to do that, it's all intelligent self-updating services that are easy to install. Everything we do is built around simplicity. And I'm sure, you know, with Pure... Exactly the same exactly way. Exactly the same so, way. Uh, we, we go even beyond that, right? We don't install anything on, on your servers. There's absolutely no pure software that you have to install in your boxes to make it work. Um, for example, we leverage Microsoft's uh, MPIO DSM. We don't, you don't have to install any third-party DSM modules into your Windows boxes to make everything work. So it's, a, it's kind of that approach to simplicity. We try to keep it so simple that you don't even need to push any, any server. Right. And I, I think that's the thing, right? We're, we're moving into, you talk about the future, right? And the future is exciting. But the future is getting more and more complicated. And so our tools, our platforms, all these that we're using, they need to manage, they need to focus on that simplicity so that IT professionals out there don't get overwhelmed. That they have the tools, they have the scripts, they have the, uh, the interfaces to work with all this stuff and, and work with it in an effective way so that they're not bogged down with the minutia. I mean, like, think about 20 years ago and how much time was spent by DBAs, like, oh, I gotta make sure my backups ran and I gotta make sure my storage is configured right and I've got to, all the different minutia. You know, our companies come in and say, look, we're gonna simplify that for you and that's our focus. That's really the key of the simplicity to say, we know that your time out there, it's limited, right? You guys, you got a lot to do. So we want to make your working with our platforms, you know, keep that to a minimum, keep that simple so that you can get more use out of your time. Right. And the simplicity enables the ease of use, the performance gives you the lightning fast response. Yep. And then the integration gives you the overall picture Absolutely. of a kind of modern uh, SQL Server infrastructure. Right? Yeah. Mike, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. No today. problem. Thank you, Argenis, and thank you guys out there. Hope this uh, was informative for you. If you guys need any further information, please hit us up. My email address is argenis at purestorage.com. And uh, mike.fall at rubric.com. Uh, Thanks, guys. Thank you.